Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and I'm doing the Amsterdam Aussie Floetrol and U.S. Floetrol comparison in the Great Big Schmears or the Aussie 3D card slide to see whose Floetrol does it better. And the results are going to surprise you. So I have another 20 by 24 inch canvas and I am going to start with my puddle of uh, chocolate brown metallic and that is mixed with Floetrol and a bit of water to make it liquidy so it will move and that when I do the open cup pour the paint will go down under and, and rise to the surface as it does. And I put down my cup ring and I start layering my paints in. Um, I generally do black between every layer and occasionally I skip black just to be rebellious. And actually it does give some really pretty results. Uh, but most of the time there is black between each color. And the colors I'm using again are the same that I used yesterday. It is a metallic gold, a copper, champagne gold and a metallic turquoise and black. I'm now adding a little flow extender so the paints will move a little better to cover this canvas. And keep layering in the center cup. You want to have enough paint there that when you start to stretch it, it will move to the edges of the canvas. And you can already see the cells popping up and the beautiful color mixtures that these uh, paints make. Beautiful. and tilt. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. This has to be one of the prettiest open cup pours I've ever done. And in retrospect, 
I wished I had just kept it the way it was. The way the colors blended together, the patterning, the cells, it's really, really pretty. But my intention today was to do the little experiment using Aussie Floetrol and US Floetrol to do the Great Big Schmears and the Aussie 3D card slide of Jilly Rice Cubes and to see if you can get similar or same effects using the two different formulas. Okay, so here come the great big schmears. The first four are actually the Aussie 3D card slide done with Aussie Floetrol and Black Amsterdam paint.
And now I'm using the U.S. Floetrol with the Amsterdam Oxide Black for the next four swipes. Now that swipe wasn't a very good one, but here comes a better one. And wait till you see the beautiful cells and lacing in this portion. The U.S. Floetrol mixed four parts Floetrol, one part Amsterdam Black Oxide works beautifully. Now this is the white Aussie Floetrol mix. It does a really beautiful job with cells and lacing.
and this next one is the American Floetrol with white, titanium white by Amsterdam. And it does fairly well. I think the white with the Aussie performs a little better than the US one. I'm going to add some more using the US formula because I want to see how beautiful the cells and the lacing are and they really are beautiful. So I'm going to conclude that you can get really wonderful results, slightly different between the two different flow trolls. But if what you have is American flow troll, by all means use it. It does beautiful things. If you have Aussie flow troll, use it. It does beautiful things. Uh, I know that it's cost prohibitive and it's difficult to get in the States. And, you know, it's best used in the bloom recipe. You know, this is a bit of a, a waste of beautiful Australian Floetrol, but it's still magnificent, both, both ways.
So I'm really loving this piece. I love the flow, the movement, the lacing, the cells, the way the colors came together. It's really, it's quite different from the one I was going to try to duplicate. It's much lighter uh, and it's not really a tree. I think this one I'm going to name Tempest. It is absolutely beautiful. The close-ups are stunning and I'm going to continue in this colorway and I'm going to try one more canvas and I'm going to go larger. This was a 20 by 24 but I want a large one for myself. I spend a fair amount of time after I'm finished with the painting um, adding little details with the palette knife, my schmears. It just finishes off little areas. Uh, it helps with the flow. It's fine detail. And I really do think it helps a piece. I use the palette knife also to touch up little areas where paint might be missing. I also use my palette knife to wipe the paint from under the bottom of the canvas. I go all the way around, either with the palette knife or with my fingers, uh, to pull the dripping paint off. You don't want that paint pulling paint from the surface. And now all the pretty little bits. You know, this is my favorite part. I love looking at the details. Look at those cells. Those blue cells in the turquoise, those are the U.S. Floetrol cells. 
they're very pretty they're uh, multicolored really gorgeous that section in the turquoise there so my conclusion again is use what you have if you have us floetrol in amsterdam black oxide use it save your aussie floetrol for blooms but if you have access to it it does beautiful things in this jelly rice cube 3d card slide Thank you again for coming along. If you haven't, please subscribe. It makes a difference uh, with the algorithm on YouTube. And if you wouldn't mind, and if you like the video, of course, like the video. Um, thank you so much for all your kind comments. I am moved and taken aback every time at your generous thoughts. Uh, let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. I really think this is going to get us through. This is going to be a very long winter. So stock up on Floetrol and canvases. Anyway, thanks again for coming along. I really do appreciate all your support. Take care. Bye.